Hey guys, welcome to my vlog and welcome to my new video series, Two Guys and a Mower, where we go out for the next two weeks starting today and we service every single one of my clients using just, you guessed it, the TB360 push mower. We're going to go out there, we're going to bust ass, we're going to do it for the next two weeks, we're going to service all my customers in a timely manner with high quality from the back of my truck and why are we going to do this? Because it's the basic equipment. And that's what a lot of you guys have is the basic equipment, right? So let's see what we can do with just the basic equipment. For the next two weeks, this will be our vlog. And I hope you guys can uh, check it out and follow along and see just what you could do with a push mower. Just a push mower. Well, it's self propelled but it's a push mower in the back of your truck. Don't stop. Don't, 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 don't stop. Don't stop. So I got my edger. I got a weed eater. I'm bringing the steel FS70 weed eater. I'm bringing the Echo little Home Depot Home Depot Homeowner Edition edger that my, my guy likes to use. I got my TB360 mower. I got my Echo hedge trimmer, the handheld hedge trimmer. I got a rake. I got my little truck box back here uh, with everything that I need. I got my cooler. I got my tools. <clears throat> we're two dudes and a mower, and we're gonna go out and we're gonna mow about 100 yards in these two weeks maybe it's like 80 or something like that uh, I don't have a couple I, I got a few that are like once a month I got one that's once every three weeks um, so whatever we're gonna come out and we're gonna do this and just take it back old school bring it back for your, for some of you new guys out there that are working out of the back of your truck maybe just to give you guys a little bit of an example maybe some motivation maybe to show you that hey you know you don't have to get bloated to make a decent income in this industry and you can uh, do this part-time on the weekends and make four, five, six hundred dollars in a day, in two days, if it's you and your son, you and another guy, you and a neighbor, you and a partner, you and another fireman, whatever the deal is, you get out there, <clears throat> two dudes and a mower and go make that money. <clears throat> and. Uh, so let's see what we can do. We got um, 14 on the schedule today. Uh, it might end up being like either 13 or 15. I'm not exactly sure. Um, one of them, the husband did their yard yesterday um, or did their yard Saturday for a party they were having Sunday. So I'm not doing her today. And um, I did my neighbor yesterday who's on the list, uh, but the guy across the street's not on it. So I don't know, whatever. It's gonna be like around 14 or 15 yards to do today. Me and old boy, 21 inch, Troy built TB360. With or without the side discharge chute. So let's get to it. Alrighty then, one done. I love the way yards look when they're cut with small mowers. He needs to blow this off. Got some clippings in the backyard. He's just spreading out real quick with the blower. Let me show you the backyard real quick. See, this is kind of a new account. We don't do the bushes here. We don't spray the weeds. We don't really do anything like that. He's just spreading out some of the clippings. Thick yard, real thick, big. Let's move on.
Well, that's two. That's a big yard. But well, these are the two biggest yards of the day for individual yards. So there's a lot of mowing for a little push mower. Uh, but hey, whatever. It is what it is. Those bushes over there, we, we shaped them up. Got the yard mowed, edged, weed eated. Goes off to the other side there. I mean, it's a lot of mowing. This is a lot of mowing. Now we're gonna move into our regular size yards. This is my big travel day, as well as um, uh, a pretty good financial day. I mean, it's, you know, it's a good day. We got, uh, like I said, I don't know, 14 or 15 we're gonna end up doing today. We're gonna work on our tan. We're gonna get our exercise on. We're gonna make some money. Very low overhead, very good income. Two dudes and a mower. Now this yard, we cut high. So I got it cut high. So it's cut, but it's cut high. But that's what she asked. Um, so it looks good. I think I told you guys once before, this yard was nothing when I first got it. And she's been watering and fertilizing and really doing a great job. So I cut it up high, keep it nice and thick. Um, so there you go. So that's three down. Now we go do my senior citizen couple. So we get a little break. We get to ride for a little bit. All right. Uh, so we just finished another one. This is the senior citizen couple. And unexpectedly, the neighbor came out and had us do his. So this one's added to the mix. Didn't really know we were going to do this one, but we did it. So that's good. I'll take it. A little extra money. And uh, so now we're gonna head back to my neighborhood, let the dogs out, do three in that, in that area there. That's five done. Yeah, five. All right, guys, we are killing it. There's six right there. And here's seven right here. And there's my house. So we got two of the three done in my neighborhood. So we gotta do one up there. That'll be eight. And then we got um, two individuals to do and a group of four. Keep on keeping on. All right, we're done with my neighborhood, so uh, now we're gonna shoot up to Somersby. So we went the farthest south I go, the farthest east I go. We're back in my neighborhood. So we did a huge freaking circle, and now we're gonna go to the farthest north I go, uh, knock one out on the way up there, and um, oh, I thought somebody was calling me. Knock one out up on the way there, and then uh, then uh, then we got five to do. So let's get it on. Let's do some mowing.
hard to do this one-handed, guys. Triple digit heat indices. Dark clouds. I'm gonna put the camera up and we're gonna boogie these next two yards. Well, there's nine. Got some dark clouds coming. So now we're gonna roll on up to Summersby. We have a group of four, but we have a two, and then a house in the middle, and then a two, and we have one alone. So we're gonna do the one alone, and then we're gonna do a two, and then we'll see what we got for weather. All right, guys, we got uh, 10 done. So you just watched us mow this one. And uh, backyard, front yard, we're done here. So now we're gonna go do a group of two and trim a tree, and then we got a group of two. Um, it's actually a group of four, but it's separated by a house. So we're gonna do it two and then two. But we're gonna do the two where I got a request to do the tree. Uh, but we got some dark clouds coming in. So we gotta keep on keeping on. All right, the Imperial Stormtroopers came in. Um, so this is 11 and 12, and here's the tree we trimmed. So he asked us to shape it away from the house. So from here, you don't really see it. It still looks pretty full. Sorry about the wind noise. I'm sure this is terrible. But when you come over here, it's shaped away from the house. So there you go. Quick little trim for you. So we got uh, 11 and 12 done. So after this red car, there's two houses together, but look at this. But right now, it's moving that way. So, it's, it's a close call. Go ahead and edge, bro. It's, it's close, but go ahead. So, old boy's going to start edging down there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish up mowing the backyard back here along the water. 
and then head on down there and uh, start mowing. So we're getting it. It'll be 14 done if uh, the weather holds out. It'll be 14 done if uh, the weather holds out. Well, guys, the weather didn't hold out. I went to those backyards there. I started mowing along the lake, and uh, old boy went down the road to edge up those two. And we got poured on. I mean, we just got absolutely freaking drenched. I finished mowing those two backyards for 11 and 12. He edged 13 and 14. I mean, it was pouring down rain, so it's not like we had a big old mess. All, all he did was edge the, the curb and, you know, some of the flower beds. So we'll go back there tomorrow and we'll finish up 13 and 14. And then we got a 12-yard day all concentrated in one little area. So it's like five miles up. And then we got, I think it's 12 houses to do. And then we'll have these two to do. And then it's like five miles back. So that's really it. We rocked pretty good. We got 12 yards done. It's a little bit late right now. I showered. I ate dinner. It is what it is. Not everybody has the luxuries of zero turns and hydros and all types of fancy stuff. So, you know, like I said at the beginning, I'm just kind of kicking it old school and, uh, you know, maybe motivate you guys, show you guys what you could do. I can do it. You can do it. I'm 45 years old. Um, you know, if you're a good weed eater and edger and stuff like that, then you get some young buck in the neighborhood to help you out on some of these crazy days and you let their legs do the walking on a, on a you know, with a TB360 or whatever, um, or a Honda or whatever you got, you know, you could try it with, with um, I, I, don't, I don't like the um, Time Master for my neighborhood. I tried it. I don't like it for this grass and stuff, but, um, you know, you could try the TB360, you could try the Honda, you could try the Time Master, you could try the, um, the, the TB, whatever the 28 inch whatever they call that you know it's all up to you and what you want to do but uh so this was episode one so tomorrow episode two we'll do cleanup of episode one finish them two and then we'll move on to our 12 yard day so hopefully you guys enjoyed this um it was a lot of work this is this is a lot of work i'm looking forward to the weekend already and putting my feet up so i'll see you guys though i really do appreciate you guys very much leave a comment and if you like what we're doing here uh, please check out the links in my descriptions. I got links to the donate uh, to donate uh, to the Children's Research, the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Um, if you guys could give a little bit, man, um, there's links that describe it. Um, I got the running playlist, you know, the running vlogs with the playlist on all that on what's going on with the marathon training. So if you like what's going on, you know, I never will ask you for money. But I will ask you to look at that donation link for the hospital. And if you could give a little bit or share that link, man, that would be awesome. That would, really would be great. Um, so I hope you guys have a great night. I'm going to go ahead and get this clip right now up here. And then I got a little bit more editing to do on tonight's vlog. And I'll get this up. It'll probably be up by about 10, 30, 11 o'clock or maybe first thing in the morning. Depends on how late it is. Um, so I'll see you guys. Thank you very much. Don't, 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 stop, don't, stop, don't, 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 don't,